from plastic straws to spare bottle caps, lids off tubs, pieces of Lego, random plastic tubs, bits of string, parts of broken toys, interesting looking sticks, and any other bits in between. I literally collect it all. I never throw anything out. My missus says that I am a hoarder and that I have a problem. In this video, I want to explain why that's not the case. If I said the word greeblies to you, would you understand what I'm talking about? Now, the chances are that if you are involved in any kind of model making, uh, especially with regards to science fiction, then you may have heard the term. If you've not heard the term, however, that's fine. The chances are you've still used one without really knowing what it's called. So what is a greebly? What am I talking about? Let's go. When it comes to building models, you will want to add specific details onto the model to make it look more realistic or just more interesting. The term greeblies refers to any item that you place on a model to add detail or add interest to the model. As far as I'm aware, the term greeblies dates back to the 1970s when Industrial Light and Magic founder George Lucas first started using the term to refer to any pieces or items that was attached to models when making the models for the film Star Wars. Since then, it has become more or less an industry term, although not everyone may have heard of it. Agreeably, can literally be just about anything. If it's a bottle lid, or a broken piece of Lego, or a piece of a toy, if you're using it to attach it to a model, then that is agreeably. Agreeably is often used away from what it's originally designed to do. When you use agreeably, it's essentially taking an item that has a fairly specific use and repurposing it to make an interesting looking model. If you are familiar with my other YouTube channel, Darlingborough Model Railway, the chances are you may have seen this video here in which I scratch built a model warehouse for use on a model railway. Although not a science fiction based project, I still used Greeblies on this project as well. For example, the aircon unit on the side of the building was actually part of a bed frame. And the drain pipes I placed on the model is actually taken from some washing line. So even if you're not building a science fiction based model, you can still use Greeblies to make your objects or your models look more interesting and more realistic. Don't forget to check out that video as well and maybe like and subscribe to my other channel while you're there. <laughs> I have a confession to make. I have got a lot of greeblies. And up until recently, they were just basically dumped in a box, unsorted and completely just strewn everywhere. My missus refers to my collection of greeblies as hoarding, which I can see her point, to be fair. Um, if I see a plastic bottle lid or a drinking straw that's not being used or a piece of broken toy that maybe looks a bit interesting, chances are it will find its way into my pocket and into the box. Now the problem is, once you get into that mentality, it's very difficult to get out of. And what you eventually find is that you have tubs pretty much everywhere, just stored full of random bits and bobs. There's no kind of organisation and when you do come to make a project, it's just a bit of a nightmare really. So I've decided to go through my few box of greeblies that I've got so far and try and organise them using one of these. Let's go.
So I've still got a lot of greeblies I need to sort out and pretty much every day I pick up more bits and bobs and I need to sort them out as well. So there is still a lot of greeblies to sort out and I feel that I'm going to have to invest in some more storage containers as I continue working on my hobby. I personally have found these cases from B&M stores here in the UK absolutely wonderful. And as you can see, you can actually adjust the sections to fit all of the pieces that you want to save and store. I started off with the first one and just started to sort all of the random items and bits and bobs into similar sizes, similar shapes, similar types of pieces and put them into a collection together. I've also started to collect larger greeblies. Three storage containers have been mounted to the wall just using some screws so that it keeps them all together and I feel that it keeps everything a little bit more tidy. When it comes to building a model I know that if I have the need for that type of piece then I can go to that specific box. There are various different ways that you can organize your greeblies. It depends on what works for you. Now, it'd be interesting to know if you have a set way of storing all of your greeblies. Is it just in a big box mixed up or is it more organized? Have you got a system something similar to mine? Or do you have a dedicated space for all of them? One of the things I've realized as I have started to organize and store all of my greeblies is that I've been watching YouTube and other videos, model makers, and I've been incredibly jealous of their collection, almost greebly envy. Yes, it's kind of sad to say that one hoarder is jealous of another hoarder's hoard, but essentially that's what it is. I'm wondering if that's actually a real thing or if it's just down to me. Have you ever watched anybody else, uh, model maker or um, a YouTube channel, for example, and been jealous of their collection of greeblies or bits and bobs have you ever wanted someone else's hoard <laughs> it would be interesting to know let me know in the comments down below so now that i have started to organize and catalog my greeblies a little bit better the question is what am i going to do with them well i do have a few projects lined up in the future if you are interested in watching them make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out one of my future projects is going to be an airlock door which is going to be embedded into the side of a mountain on an extraterrestrial planet obviously in space everything has to be pressurized and this is contained by strong powerful doors and i'm also planning on building a high-powered laser gun pulse rifle however that will be in a separate video so look out for that lastly i just want to answer my original question which is does keeping greeblies make me a hoarder no no it doesn't and i'll explain why i will admit that my shed is a little bit cluttered i will admit that some of that clutter is a little bit disorganized however the greeblies I'm keeping are actually being organized and I'm keeping them for a very specific purpose, which is obviously to use them for building models. So by that very definition, and yes, I did actually look it up, I am not a hoarder. I am in fact a collector, at least when it comes to my greeblies. <laughs> I'm not talking about any other aspects of my life. That's a different story. Anyway, with regards to my greeblies, obviously I will be using them in future projects, building interesting models, so don't miss out on that. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and in the meantime, grab those greeblies with both hands and make a stash. <laughs>